What is up, my seafood friends, and welcome to r slash Tumblr. I'm your host, Dr. Fishsticks, and Tumblr is a website, and that is all. So, let's get into it. I hate the trope of, I refuse to hit women, gets decked, because it's boring. But I do kind of like the trope of someone in RPG going, hey, I don't want to hit a kid, that's kind of fricked up, and then the kid just obliterates them. I refuse to hit a woman. Sexist, overdone, does nothing to actually empower the woman or make the guy seem nice. I refuse to get a, to hit a kid. Valid, even funnier when the kid whips absolute butt in one go. The boulder feels conflicted about fighting a young blind girl. And there's just the person laughing. The boulder is over its conflicted feelings. Avatar, doing it right yet again. I love how this doesn't have Toph's response, so it looks like he just saw Toph and was like, you know what, this kid deserves it. Which is honestly a little valid, because Toph radiates chaos. <laughs> I remember seeing the original meme, and it was so much funnier with the response. Escape rooms exist, but we're all sleeping on the concept of a break-in room. Within 50 minutes, you and your group have to break into a room and steal something valuable. Themes include the White House, Art Museum, Jewelry Store, Best Buy, <laughs> your ex's apartment where they have embarrassing and or incriminating photos to you. That one's kind of specific. Rival scientist's lab. CEO's summer home. Area 51. <laughs> it's funny because they're just like, there's like something that's like low level, like an apartment, and then it just jumps to Area 51. <laughs> what a nice sheep, I think, as I gazed out at a field. The sheep facing away starts to raise its head. I stare in a melting horror as the head keeps rising, rising, neck elongating in some cursed spectacle that roots me to the spot of fear, until I realize, oh, it's an alpaca. <laughs> Thought this was going to be a sh horror short fiction, but no, it's just rural. The veil between rural and eldritch is far thinner than anyone wishes to guess. <laughs> Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. PETA! Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheeps. Please peel your sheeps. Why hasn't anyone offered my parents five camels for my hand in marriage yet? What am I doing wrong? It's because you're worth at least ten camels and they just can't afford you. That is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> I would love to be worth ten camels. <laughs> I'm literally begging, begging modern media to portray healthy relationships. Enough cheating, enough infidelity, enough disrespect. Show me people who love each other, proper communication, and has a strong mental as well as physical connection. I want plots about people who are madly in love with each other and stay madly in love with each other. Please, I am losing my mind. That would be so boring. If you're talking about, like, like news media, then, like... <laughs> just imagine some like CNN going local man doesn't cheat on his wife and loves her dearly I mean if you're talking about like movies and stuff um strangers pray at night has a really cute couple at the beginning of it it's great concept basically among us great game except if you don't perform your tasks in an OSHA complaint fashion there's a random chance you'll accidentally kill yourself the imposters can't murder anyone directly they can only create workplace hazards or sabotage tasks to, re to require precautions they ordinarily wouldn't hashtag OSHA among us <laughs> that's funny where were you 49 years ago today when at the real buzz and Neil Armstrong made those historic first steps on the onto the moon I was on the moon! Get it? Because he was on the moon. Imagine being the only person alive who could say this. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong liked to do the thing where they'd tell unfunny jokes at parties about being on the moon, and then when people were confused, they'd go, Guess you had to have been there. Dang, that's a flex. Mark the day, Gina. May 18th at 4 p.m. Oh, honey, we're well into October. My notion of time while quarantined is like this. I can't believe it's October already. Right? It is October! I keep... I'm, people are like, oh, when did you get my your new phone? Because I got it on my birthday. I'm like, oh, it was like two months ago. And they're like, is it your birthday in May? And I'm like, oh my god. Today I learned astronaut Jack Schmidt is discovered he was allergic to moon dust. Which is a thing millions of other people have probably gone their whole lives never knowing. 
imagine being one of only 12 guys to ever have the honor of walking on the moon and then when you get there you're allergic to it NASA scientist you're back early Jack Schmidt moons an allergen NASA scientist what Jack loading an EpiPen and climbing back into the shuttle moons an allergen if one in 12 humans who have been on the moon is was allergic to moot and dust, that's either a one in a million chance or a very common allergy. The fact that it's such a, such a statistically useless sample is definitely driving a handful of very specialized scientists absolutely crazy. Wow. Okay, that's really cool. Maybe if they like studied the moon dust and found if there was like something in it that was a common allergy, then they could... I don't know, but that's cool. Uh, that, no, that's not cool. I feel bad for that guy. I never knew the reason the nephews were left with Scrooge was because Donald literally had to go off with the Navy. Like, I thought it was just the sailor getup was for the show. It didn't occur to me that Donald was with the U.S. Armed Forces. <laughs> Hashtag thank you, Donald, for keeping our country safe. He also fought in the war, hence his short temper. No joke, Disney confirmed this in a freaking comic of Donald walk of Donald sleepwalking, then being woke up by a firecrackers, which he believes is mines in a minefield. No joke. The US government promoted Donald Duck to the rank of sergeants and gave him an honorable discharge from the military in nineteen eighty four in honor of his animated propaganda participation in World War Two. My history of animation professor told us that he had to fill out special forms to look at and receive Donald Duck's U.S. military history, at which point he mentioned how he had to take a step back from his life and question all of his choices. The heck? Jeez, that is... Wow. Boil up some Mountain Dew, it's gonna be a long night. You could have said anything else. Cauldron boil and cauldron bubble. Baja blast to fuel my trouble. <laughs> oh, that's great. Today I learned chess is banned at the Russian research stations in Antarctica. This is because in 1959, two scientists at Vostok station were playing game of chess, and the loser snapped and murdered his opponent with an axe? Holy crap! Heated gamer. Oh, I mean, it couldn't have been that heated. It was in Antarctica. <laughs> We all make fun of Zuko for, that's rough buddy, I don't know who that is. But like, how the frick are you supposed to respond when someone just nonchalantly says, my g what? Huh? What happened? If I text you back fast, it's not because I'm thirsty, it's because my phone was in my hand at the time. The waiting to text people back on purpose crap is childish. Finally, somebody said it. Sometimes I like text people just like out of muscle memory like I'll text someone I'll send it out and I have to read it to know what I said. I'm like, oh shoot I sent something <laughs> Someday I'm gonna send somebody something really offensive on accident and I'm gonna regret that Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak like look at this freaking flower This flower is taller than I am. This flower is winning and I'm losing Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. Yeah, no trees are just Frick off huge but like we take okay my family grows like mammoth sunflowers occasionally and we put it in the front of our lawn and we're proud of those things they're like nine feet tall and they dwarf anyone who tries to step up to them ever notice that the mean voice in your head that insults you is awful confident for something that's literally never done anything in its life except be mean to you like one of us is pathetic and it's not me buddy get a hobby yikes Self-care is roasting the mean voice inside your head. <laughs> oh, that's gold. As you die, you wake up in a fiery place. You quickly realize you're in hell. You ask the next demon why you were there, as you lived a very good life. You are not being punished, he says. You are the punishment. You honk in joy. It's a lovely morning in hell. And you are a horrible goose. If you don't get this, look up Untitled Goose Game. It's amazing. Frank the Human Boy. <gasps> How did you almost know my name? I have an approximate knowledge of many things. My education in a nutshell. 
It's like, it's not being very knowledgeable about a few things. It's being almost knowledgeable about a lot of things. Yeah, fish sticks, just explain the meme. Go right ahead. But sadly, ladies and gents, that is all the time we have for today. If you like this video, press the like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment them down below. And if you really like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe. And that is all for today. So until the next video, goodbye. I know it's my ADHD, cause I can't stop moving, moving, I feel like